in 1 John chapter 5, verse 14. And this is the confidence that we have in him. Okay, now that word confidence, now get this. <clears throat> confidence is faith. If you look at the definition of faith, it's confidence, trust, okay? So when it says, and this is the confidence we have in him, it, it's basically saying, this is the reason we have faith in him. And he says this, this is the confidence we have in him. So we could say, now notice again, this is the confidence, this is the faith we have in him. Our faith is in him. Is that what it says? Have confidence that we have in him. Doesn't say of him, in him. Got that? That if we ask anything according to his will, he heareth us. Okay, let's stop right there. This is something, I learned this years ago. I can honestly tell you, uh, I don't know, I don't, I, I, I don't remember any prayer that I have purposely prayed that has not been answered, right? Now, I'm talking about personally for my own personal life. Let's put it that way, okay? <clears throat> now, one of the reasons for that was because I learned this. That's why this is so important this morning. These are some things that if you get a hold of this, it will absolutely change your life. <clears throat> now, it says, this is the confidence that we have in him, that if we ask anything according to his will, he heareth us. Now, notice, now get this. Take it piece by piece. Don't jump ahead, okay? If we pray anything, that, okay, we have a confidence in him. Our faith is in him that if we ask anything according to his will, okay, you could actually break this up and put it in parentheses according to his will, right? He hears us. Notice at this point, it doesn't say that we get it. It just says he hears us. Is that right? Yeah. So we could say if we, this is a confidence that we have, that if we ask anything according to his will, he hears us, which would mean if we don't ask according to his will, he doesn't even hear us. Do you hear that? Now watch, I'll prove it. Verse 15, and if we know that he hear us, whatever we ask, remember you can break this up and put it in parentheses, we know that we have the petitions that we desired of him. Now, you see how that fits together. He says, first off, here's what we know. We know, now let me put it in common language. If we can get him to hear us, we can get whatever we need. Yes. Is that what that says? Yes. All we got to do is make sure he hears us. Yeah. Right? Now, get this. <clears throat> this is the confidence we have in him that if we ask anything, according to his will, okay? So the first thing to know is that we may have to ask. Is that right? Yep. Second thing is we've got to ask according to his will. Now, for us to ask according to his will, we have to know what his will is. If you don't, I say a lot of people, what we used to call shotgun prayers, you just shoot a prayer out there and hope it hits, right? Uh, is it... <laughs> Like we used to say, pray and spray. You just, <laughs> and now what that means, you just shoot out there and hopefully something sticks, right? But notice what he says here is that if we ask according to his will, then, then we know he hears us. So really the key is just to get him to hear us. Isn't that right? Because if we can get him to hear us, we can get whatever we're asking. Now, but to get him to hear us, we got to know his will. To know his will, now the thing is, his will has to be established. Because if his will is not established, then you can't ask according to his will. In other words, if God has not already made up his mind concerning any prayer, any problem you have, then you cannot pray according to his will. Why? Because he hadn't made up his will yet. See, if you pray and see what he's going to say, then you're not praying according to his will because you don't know what his will is. If he has to wait till you ask to decide the answer, you can never pray according to his will. 
Did, did you get that? Yeah. Now, I'm telling you, what you're hearing today, honestly, very few Christians have ever actually heard. Why? Because too many people hear things and they repeat it and they repeat what they've heard, but they've heard it wrong. Right? So now, watch this. And if we know, notice no, there's a solidness in no, right? We know that he hear us whatsoever we ask. And notice he keeps saying whatever we ask, whatever we ask. Now see, this is the um, quantifying aspect. We know that we have the petitions, meaning whatever we've asked, that we desired of him. So again, I'm emphasizing this, and I know I'm kind of, you know, might be a little redundant, but you got to get it. Because he says, we can have this faith in him that if we ask anything according to his will, he hears us. And if he hears us, then we know that we have whatever we've asked. 